Hello dear learners, in this part 3 for packaging material for parental preparations, I am going to discuss about tamper resistant materials. In the part 1 and part 2, we have already seen the containers and closers. So today, we will see in detail the tamper resistant materials. So why there is a need for tamper resistant packaging? The requirement for tamper resistant packaging is one of the major considerations in the development of packaging for pharmaceutical products. Now what is tamper resistant packaging? So tamper resistant package is provided with an indicator or we can say barrier before entering the package so that if this indicator or we can say barrier is broken the buyer immediately gets the evidence that the product has been opened or tampered. Now, these are the examples of tamper resistant containers or we can say tamper resistant packaging. So, we will see the film wrappers, the bottle seals, tap seals, blister package, the breakable caps, strip package, sealed tubes and bubble pack the aerosol containers and shrink seal and bands, the sealed cartoon pouches and foils, paper or plastic in the detail. Now we will see one by one in detail. So first is the film wrappers. So from this picture it is very clear how it is look and what is the film wrapper. Now we will see what is it, how we can prepare it and which material we can use to prepare it and how we can remove it. So it is a transparent film with a distinctive design is wrapped securely around the entire product container. The film must be cut or turned to remove the product. The wrapper must have an identifying characteristic over here. For example, a name then a registered trademark or we can say the logo or a picture that cannot be readily duplicated. So what happened? Tinted wrappers are not acceptable as an identifying characteristic because of possibility that their material may be available to the public. So a reasonably tight fit to the film around the container must be achieved. For example, by a heat shrink type process. Means here the sealing of a film wrapper with overlapping and flaps is acceptable only if the end cannot be opened. This end cannot be opened and released without leaving visible evidence of tampering. And this film wrappers are available in three types. Now we will see the types of a film wrappers. So there are the fin seal wrapper the end folded wrapper and shrink wrapper. So what is film seal wrapper? So these seals are formed by crimping the film together and sealing together this one we can see over here. Crimping this film together and seal together. The two sides surface of the film producing a fin seal. These two inside surface producing this is the fin seal. And the over wrap can be removed or we can say open only by tearing the wrapper. And here we can use the material like polyethylene. It is used as a material to prepare the fin seal wrapper. Now the next is end folded wrapper. So we can see uh, how it, we can prepare it. So this wrapper is formed by pushing the product into the sheet of overlapping film. For example, this is the example here we can see how it is look like and it is suitable for multiple use closers for injectable products as rubber reseals after multiple insertion of needle. These are the materials we can use here to prepare the end folded wrapper. Now we will see the shrink wrapper. So the shrink wrap. The, this concept involves the packaging of a product in a thermoplastic film that has been stretched and oriented during its manufacture and that has the property of the reverting back to its unstretched dimensions as a film on the 
over prepping machines. So here it have a fewer additives and thus it have a fewer extractable and tend to experience less sorption of the product ingredients. This is the advantage. Here we can use the material like the polyvinyl chloride mainly. Now we will see the next is the blister or strip packs. So how it looks like? This is the example, the blister pack or we can say the strip pack. So it is a packaging configuration capable of providing excellent environmental protection. We can see this kind of packaging. So it will provide excellent environmental protection coupled with an elastically pleasing and efficacious appearance. So dosage unit, for example, capsules or tablets should be packed in this are individually sealed in a plastic or we can say the foils and that is known as blister or strip packs. Form this, so it is formed by the heat softening a sheet of the thermoplastic resin and a vacuum drawing the softened sheet of the plastic into the counter mold and after cooling the sheet is released from the mold and proceed to the filling section of the packaging machines. So after that we will get this. Now we will see the strip package. So what is strip package? It is look like it looks like this. So a strip package is a form of unit dose packaging like this. It's a unit dose packaging of a tablet or capsules and the product is dropped into the pocket formed prior to forming the final set of cells. So here it is formed by feeding two waves of heat syllable flexible film through either a heated crimping roller or a heated reciprocating platen. Since the sealing is usually accomplished between pressure rollers, a high degree of cell integrity is possible here. Now we will see the next is a tap cells. So we can see it look like tap only. It is a security cell. We can see the tap cells. So this tap involves the application of a pressure sensitive tap. Or we can say the label around or over the closer of the package. So how it used. So which must be destroyed to gain access to the packaged product. It's very easy to understand. Now the next is the bubble caps. So here what happens. See uh, this is the example. This is uh, how it looks. The bubble packs. So the product here what happened. It can be made in the several ways but usually it is formed by sandwiching the product between this one first like a thermoformable or we can say heat shrinkable the plastic film and a rigid backing material and this is passed through a heated tunnel and after we will get this. So here what happened? The product and container are sealed in a plastic and mounted in. The plastic must be broken to remove the product. And the baking material cannot be readily separated. This one. It cannot be readily separated from the bubble or easily replaced without leaving evidence of tampering. So we can find if anyone open this. Right. Now the next is foil paper or plastic pouches so here we can see the pouch so the flexible pouch is a packaging concept that is capable of providing not only a package but that is a temper resistance but by proper selection of material means here the package with a high degree of environmental protection means a flexible pouch is usually formed during the product filling operation by we can say the horizontal filling or selling process to the equipment. Now here the product is enclosed in an individual pouch that must be broken to obtain the product. So the pouch should have a distinctive design and the end cells of the pouch over here it cannot be separated we can see here 
This cannot be separated and resealed without showing visible evidence of entry. Right. So here we can also easily find. So this is the example of a tamper resistant container. Now the next is the sealed metal tube or plastic blind and heat sealed tubes. Means here we can see uh, these tubes like collapsible tubes we can see over here. So these are the collapsible tubes. It is used for packaging and are constructed of the metal, plastic or we can say the lamination of foil, paper and plastic. Generally, the metal tubes are used for those products that require high degree of barrier protection afforded by the metal. So the, both the end of the tubes are sealed and the mouth or a blind end must be punctured to obtain the product. So this is how it looks like. Now the next is the cardboard cartoons. So we can see this is the folding paperboard cartoons. It is used as a secondary packaging for the products like uh, OTC products for many years. So seal and cartoons users the externally applied this glue or we can see the hot melt to provide the cartoon sealing. So here what happened the cardboard cartoon specially designed to ensure that in order to obtain the product the cartoon seal must be cut or must be non-releasable without showing visible evidence of and torn to remove the product. Now the next is the aerosol containers. So we can say uh, aerosol containers used for pharmaceutical products is usually made up of drawn aluminum. These are how it look means the spray nozzles. These are usually metal to allow a specific dose to be dispersed with each spray and it is generally made up of a drawn aluminum and the inside of the container can be specially coated if the product compatibility is a problem. So this is how we can solve our problem as a, com as a compatibility issues. So generally a length of a polyethylene tube we can say it is known as a deep tube is attached to the inside of the spray nozzle and dips into the product and drawing product into the spray nozzle when the sprayer is activated. So this is how we can get our product. Now these are the examples of a tamper resistant containers. Now in the next video we will see the filling and sealing process for vials as well as ampules and the evolution test or evolution parameters for parental preparations. Thank you dear learners for watching this video.